Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. It's a live 2018 AirVenture Innovation Preview Program debuts. First, AirFugia transition slated for 2019 production with new features. And Sporties launches Stratus 3 weather receiver. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's July 20th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. EAA and the Aero News Network are pleased to release the latest in a series of novel Aero TV and airborne programs designed to draw attention to the most innovative and aggressively oriented companies in the aviation universe, and most particularly those with real news to impart at AirVenture 2018. So we present this year's AirVenture Innovation Preview to allow dozens of innovators who worked with us over the past few weeks to produce informational video presentations with our media staff. This comprehensive program containing some 30 or so short 2-5 to five minute online media presentations that offer a glimpse of what is really new and innovative at AirVenture. The roster is a veritable who's who of aviation innovators. That includes names like Aerovonix, Airtex, AlSim, AmSafe Incorporated, Aston Aeronautics, Evolution, Bindex King, Bi Aerospace, Clarity Aloft, Commutercraft, Continental Motors, Epic Optics, Glime Aviation, Hangerbot, Hartzell Propeller, King Schools, Pipistrol, Safe, Straight and Level Technologies LLC, The Airplane Factory, Trig Avionics, U.S. Sport Aircraft, Vashon Aircraft, Vertigo Aero, and others. The programs are viewable at Oshcast.com and Oshcast.net. After the break, Blue Origin conducts ninth test flight of New Shepard. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Blue Origin has completed the ninth test flight of New Shepard rocket, successfully demonstrating its crew capsule escape system. The booster launched at 10.11 a.m. Central Daylight Time from the company's launch complex in West Texas. The crew capsule escape motor was fired after booster separation and propelled the capsule away from the booster. The capsule reached an apogee of 389,846 feet before returning to Earth under three parachutes. Representatives from the D-Day Squadron's fleet of American C-47 and DC-3 aircraft are making their way to EAA's AirVenture. Eleven aircraft that are part of the D-Day Squadron will join forces to wow audiences and commemorate the D-Day invasion of Normandy nearly 75 years ago. The group aims to honor the citizen soldiers who helped liberate Europe and end the war, and build support for their upcoming journey across the Atlantic to commemorate the invasion that changed the course of history. Avidyne has received FAA Supplemental Type Certificate approval of Dual Hybrid Touchscreen IFD 550 540 Series FMS GPS NAVCOM systems for installation in Cessna Citation Jet 525 and 525A models with Collins ProLine 21 and FGC 3000 Digital Flight Control System. 
Avidyne is keenly focused on identifying aircraft that can directly benefit from the powerful capabilities we offer with our IFD series of products, said Avidyne CEO Dan Schwinn. Boeing and Viajet have signed an MOU at the 2018 Farnborough International Air Show for an additional 10737 MAX airplanes. The agreement includes eight 737 MAX 10s and 20 737 MAX 8s and is valued at more than $12.7 billion at current list prices. The Vietnamese low-cost carrier will become the largest MAX 10 customer in Asia once the deal is completed. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Terrafugia has announced new features in the transition production vehicle, a two-seat auto and aircraft. The latest features and systems will be incorporated and verified in the next test vehicles. The first production vehicles will reportedly come to market in 2019. Transition improvements include hybrid electric motor. The transition will now drive in hybrid mode using a combination of internal combustion engine and a lithium iron phosphate chemistry battery. Boost. The throttle incorporates a boost feature for a brief burst of extra power while flying. Interior. The interior is remodeled with upgraded seats, an attractive and intuitive user interface experience, and increased luggage capacity. Safety. Updated safety systems include improved seat belts, airbags, and increased visibility with three rear view cameras in drive mode. Partners Terrafugia is partnering with state of the art suppliers for avionics and parachutes, and BRS is providing a full frame parachute system. As a unique automotive vehicle and a light sport aircraft, the transition is built for both aviation and automotive safety to comply with FAA and NHTSA standards. The new features will enable the transition to meet all the necessary requirements while optimizing the flight experience for both pilot and passenger. After these messages, Sporties launches Stratus 3 Weather Receiver. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Hello fellow pilots, I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. Well, we're headed off to Oshkosh for Air Venture and we're really looking forward to it. Martha and I are going to be making a bunch of talks there. And we hope you'll come by and say hi to us. We'd love to meet you. And by the way, stay tuned right here to PropWash. We're going to be making some exciting announcements direct from Air Venture. Welcome back. Sporties has introduced Stratus 3 the latest generation of aviation's best-selling and most trusted weather receiver. The new model includes popular features like subscription-free weather, dual-band ADS-B traffic, GPS, backup attitude information, plus additional app options, and a new low price. With our partners App Aero and ForeFlight, Sporties keeps making a great unit better, says Sporties Vice President John Zimmerman. Stratus 3 has an introductory price of $699. Pilots will find thoughtful additions like an automatic shutoff mode that senses the conclusion of a flight and saves battery life. Another new feature is Smart Wi-Fi, which allows pilots to use the iPad's LTE connection while connected to Stratus 3, ideal for last-minute flight plan changes on the ground. Stratus 3 can also take advantage of some new features from the FAA and ForeFlight. It will receive five new ADSB products when they start broadcasting later this year, including Echo Tops, Lightning, Icing and Turbulence Forecast, Center Weather Advisories, and G Airmets. Stratus 3 also supports a variety of other aviation apps, both on iOS and Android. 
using the industry standard GDL90 protocol. This allows other apps to display weather, traffic, GPS position, and attitude from Stratus 3. With the introductory price of $699, Stratus 3 comes with a dash mount, charging cable, wall outlet, charging plug, and Stratus Pilot Guide. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.